Hey guys, it's Laura with Esborn Reading Corner, and we also have a new book um, from a line that we've been working on, uh, How the Rhino Got His Skin. We also have How the Whale Got His Throat. And these stories are from one of Royard Kipling's of the, of the Jungle Book, um, from one of his books. So these are all fables and stories of how animals came to be how they are. This one, How the Rhino Got His Skin, is just absolutely beautiful. And if I'm being 100% honest with myself, I think it is even more beautiful than How the Whale Got His Throat. Um, I like it a little bit more too, just the story. Um, so they all, like I said, they're fables, they teach morals, um, and just look at these illustrations. Look at the monkeys coming down and splashing down. One rhinoceros in particular was very big and very rude. He had no manners then, and he has no manners now. Uh, so it's just a really great way to teach some of these morals. One day, this rude rhinoceros smelled something sweet, something tasty, something that made him lick his lips. It was a cake. The rhinoceros ran at the cake and he spiked that cake on the horn of his nose. Then he gabbled, got, then he galloped away and gobbled it up. The cake water maker muttered and tutted. Dim deck takes cakes makes dreadful mistakes, he said. And he began to collect the crumbs. So just a wonderful, beautiful book. And again, it's adapted from, uh, in the back you'll see here, it's adapted from the book Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling, uh, which tells stories of how animals came to be the way they are. It's the second one that we've done from that particular book. So I love that um, you can introduce your very young children to a classic author. Uh, beautiful edition. It's $9.99 and it's got this nice padded cover 